Hello. How's it going? This, uh, this you look happy about this whole situation. Yeah, hi everyone, we're playing The Conjuring House. <laughs> uh, and the title screen is already freaking you out. than anything yeah. we've played this week. <laughs> it's terrifying, it's all... Go on, Andy. On it. Ah, there's a... Th- yeah, carry on. <laughs> See this in the, ti- in the title screen. <laughs> Uh, let us know how we're looking and sounding. Um, Extremely uncool. Tried to make it look as spooky as possible in here. I've got there's a rat here. That's pretty much the only spooky thing I've got. God, the words so. are made out of banisters or something. <laughs> That's scary. Oh, uh, yes, it's let us so know in the comments how it's all the, going. The pad is rumbling. It's not even not even anything happening. And here we go. Apparently we sound okay. Uh, you have to burn it, Robert. Apparently. So. Um, so oh that- my. What the hell is that? <laughs> what do you, you want to get in there? His friends in there, isn't it? Well, it's too late for him. <laughs> Run away, Robert! Run away! Oh, Robert! No. That's not how you open a door handle. God. You'd use your other hand, wouldn't you? God. Uh, let us, yeah, let us know how we're sounding, how we're looking, yeah. uh, where you guys are watching from, how your days have been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How are you getting on? How's it all? How's it all going? Anyone who joined us yesterday for um, these sp- dying reborn fishman prophecies or whatever it was called. <laughs> Uh, thanks for coming back. I've actually seen this intro, and you get a real like look at pretty much all the spooks that I guess you're going to encounter later on. Oh, really? So look forward to that. Oh, one. what the? Why? <laughs> Why are there loads of them? And I don't know. They look like kind of plague doctor dudes. Okay, well, I mean, this is the correct response to seeing a load of. They're getting these hovering <laughs> with the bells and the everything. Go, just go. Probably oh God, they're the only spooks in the country house, your right? Time about this. Why would you go to a conjuring house? <laughs> why would you? Why would you even go there? Go to a regular house. <laughs> non conjuring yeah. house. Oh my! What the hell is that? Don't know. Probably about to find out. It's got t- tentacles. Yep, it has. What? No, get up! I can teleport. <laughs> see. Should have known. Throw something from oh. your handbag. You had a bag full of fire. <laughs> when you used that before? Ah, oh, punch that tile. Yeah, in. take that tile. That's for being so solid and immovable. I'm liking the rug. <sighs> Seen better days, obviously. But oh, Andy, oh, I've uh, scorched my hands happened? right up with my plasmids. I know you've been shot or spooked. Yeah, definitely spooked. Look at that lovely urn. Can't wait to play yeah. this game. <laughs> Can't wait to be in control of your own head. Just the whole thing. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, I think so. Cool. How are people doing in the comments? Uh, pretty good. Uh, Arzilla says, hi from Mumbai. Red Dead in 3.5 hours. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mumbai's living in the future, so they get Red Dead a bit sooner than us. Yeah, I'm off to a midnight launch tonight yeah. to get my copy. So, so yeah, Andy. Uh, right, I have full control of my legs and face. Objective, find a way to get out of the house. That seems easy. Just throw yourself bodily through that window. Look, okay, I can do this. <laughs> okay. Spin around on the spot. <laughs> uh, what does that do? Objectives. Uh, ah, yeah, that's find cool. Find a way to get out from the house. Well, this window. That's my way out. Yeah, just... No? Right. Sp- throw a chair through it. Is that a ghost or a curtain? I think it <laughs> might be a net curtain. You but sure? it's very, I mean, it's very translucent. It. Why is it following me? I don't know. You know that thing where you, sometimes you're in like a shower, like a bath shower, and yeah. the, the ah. bath curtain starts coming towards you because of the heat. It's like that. All right. I'm just keeping an eye on you. Uh, Ashley Bieber is saying good luck, guys. Much love to you from Indiana. Hey. That's cool. Shout out to Indiana. Uh, My legs are vibrating. I don't know if that's a problem. Zach Diller says, beard is looking good, Andy. Also, Thanks. remember to save a lot in this game. Okay. Oh, okay. So what you're that? saying is a lot of deaths might happen. We well, don't even have an option there to save. There isn't an option to save. So... Maybe uh, I guess that's going to happen. Typewriters or something. Uh, Ellen is back. Hello. Heck yeah! Finished my exam right in time to watch your live stream. Just what I need. Cool. It's pronounced Ellen. Lots of love from Sweden. I ah, hope I got great. it mostly right. Hope uh, you got the exam mostly yeah. right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that too. Uh, okay. So, w- do I go out this door? It seems like. I mean, that, the exit might be that way. You just came in that door, though, didn't you? So... My leg is vibrating, and this door is stuck. All right. Okay. Your leg is vibrating. Yeah, like in. Whenever I move, oh right, the pad is very racing. So I assume it's my legs. Oh, because you're like limping and stuff. Yeah, and I've got a, I'm like gut shot. Yeah. Um, Mister Dude, shut up. One, two, three. Says Mike, you're gonna do a Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines quiz for Jane and Andy. It'd be cool to see who'd win. 
it I, I would mean, be a bit unfair because Andy's never played, played it. it. Yeah. Um, but maybe just via osmosis, you've learned everything there is to know about it. Yeah, well, it's not available for Mac. I had it on my PC when I had a PC. Mm. I don't have one anymore, and I haven't played. I played like the first twenty minutes. Yeah, strong well, first twenty minutes though. Am I supposed to be like going through this fireplace or something? I don't know. Have a look. Uh, there's a little gap, isn't there? But only yeah. like a tombs could get through there. Yeah, only <laughs> a tombs. <laughs> yeah, one of the tombs. Yeah. Uh, the Rupert Littlebin says, Hey guys, missed the past few streams because of work, but today we adopted a dog and I'm going to Cardiff tomorrow. I'll miss playing Red Dead though. Oh my oh, god, I'm sorry. you certainly will. Uh, but the dog will make up for it probably. Just call the dog John Marston. Has anyone got any ideas for what I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> we already stuck on I'm the very first puzzle. Already stuck. Wait, so... Find a way to get out of the house. Yeah, I'm trying. Right, notes. What have I got? Nothing. No notes. Documents. What have I got? Uh, no nothing. documents. Inspection. Inspect yourself. Got nothing to inspect. Okay. All right, this is good. Good start. What about that vase or something? The vase. Okay, let's have a look. No. No. Um, no. No. Uh, Rectus Rex says, Hey boys, gonna get back to work, but you have fun in the spook house. Don't let the title screen push you around, Andy. The title screen was legitimately terrifying. Yeah. It was on for like 15 minutes beforehand, and there was like things running in front of the camera. Yeah, and it was creepy not, little not girls cool, guys. Laughing. Uh, maybe over here there's like a panel. I can. That looks a bit weird, doesn't it? That panel. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe yeah, yeah. Oh, out. yeah, there's someone ah, behind there. There we go. Figured it out. Secret That's exit. Right. Oh, oh, rat friend. Look, oh, rat friend. Don't, why have you bought this rat? Why have you? I, it's the only spooky thing I've got, and I just, for some reason, find it really funny that it just says evil hairy rat on it. How is that the Which only is... spooky thing you've got? I don't know. How? I don't know. A lot of my spooky stuff is in the, like that pumpkin that we've got in the studio. That was one I bought for Halloween a couple of years oh, yeah. ago. So. Basically, there's nothing in my house that isn't spooky. That's true. If there's a spooky version of things, I will have that. Uh, so Aesthetic Phonetic says good luck. Uh, Sam Peters Thanks. says Andy fearsing for your life. Okay, I will. And uh, Michael Schmidt said was up until 2am watching you guys play Emily Wants to Play 2. Oh, I think my heart stopped five or six times. <laughs> These live plays are a blast. That was terrifying. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, and, and I'm glad you enjoyed that video. I bought a Ouija board cake stand the other day. That's pretty good. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, I've got there. No. Mm. All right, fine. Follow the rat. The rats always know what the way out, don't they? I learned that from Indiana Jones 3. Yes. This is... What? No, what? Why? What? Oh. Oh, you're not in control Please. of your head. No. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, creepy music box. Who had that on the sweepstakes? <laughs> <laughs> is it safe to take a sip of tea? No. What is that thing? It's got, like, crow's feet. It's got a bird's foot on it. Oh, it flies! What? What? What is even the happening? Hell? What? Where's that rat? Oh my! <laughs> well, I guess we died. What? <laughs> was that supposed to happen? I think that was supposed to happen. I one think of those so. Horrible deaths that's so supposed it's, to that's scheduled. Yeah. I'm still can't see anything, so that's good. Well, well it's loading. Let's crack into today's snacks. Yeah, oh yeah. Lay it on us. We have uh, Percy Pumpkins. Yeah. The goth version of <laughs> Percy Pigs. He's going through his goth phase. Yeah. Have you seen the um, the goth Colin the Caterpillar? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Colin the Caterpillar if you listen to Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so these are okay. veg veg veggie Percy's as well, right? Which is kind of cool. It means vegetarians can uh, enjoy the uh, the special edition Percy's. The great taste of Percy. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So that was like a... Prologue. Oh, oh, that's your shadow. That's okay, fine. okay, good. <laughs> Hello. Is anybody there? This is a few hours later, so we maybe we're supposed to retrieve that weird bird thing. Right. So we're not going to play as the guy with the no. chest, the chest wound, the sucking chest wound. Mm. Okay. Cool. Let's go through some comments. Um, uh, Tess Arrow says, love you guys. Greetings from Luxembourg. That's cool. Hello. Um, thanks for joining us. Brock Siston says, finally caught one of these at 1.30am. Finish the care package for PAX. Make sure the others save you some Tim Tams after I hand them over on Sunday. Oh, that's cool. We are um, not getting those Tim Tams. No chance. Like, Practically no, guaranteed. Yeah. No chance they're surviving the way back. Um, um, the other 51 says, yeah, you finally caught a live stream. Thanks for joining us. What? Um, Mr. Stephen Lloyd hell? says... Sorry, this is the... Creepiest room. Yeah. Look at that 
painting. There's oh, a... that is a creepy painting. Yeah, go and put your face up against that. Why? It's so lifelike. It's a bit Wednesday Adams, isn't it? Mm. What if it just went bleh? No. Uh, <laughs> you've, I'm not going to look at it now, so I'm going to go bleh. Um, Here's a note, a clue, maybe. Cool. You're playing the piano at the moment. Look at the look at the note clue. Look up. Your little you've got a little ret there oh. you go, that's the one. I thought the other thing was my reticle. That was like a moat of dust, moat of dust. floating in the air. Um Mr. Stephen Lloyd said, Hey guys, loving the Halloween streams. Just found out I'm working as a professional zombie actor at a Halloween party in Melbourne Saturday night. That's ah, cool. cool. I hope you're also going to PAX Australia. Yeah. To see our uh, our comrades over there. We did some zombie acting once, didn't we, Mike? Oh yeah, yeah, we did uh, for two point eight hours later, which is like a zombie chase thing out in the streets in London, uh, and we'd done it as survivors previously and had so much fun. We decided to uh, yeah, we did it as be zombies. zombies instead, and it, it was, was great. hilarious. Oh, had to sprint around because it's really yeah, funny because it's, it, it's terrifying when you're a survivor, but when you're the zombie, it just strips all the fear away. From yeah, it, and then you're just chasing people and making them terrified. It's, it's really funny. I would say pick up the key. Don't just touch the blood with your hand. Scorpio key, okay. Scorpio, he stings you with his dreams of power and wealth. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Get you stay away from me, painting. <laughs> okay, what have I got? Notes, no. Documents, what? No. Sir Jamie Roberts, that, that inspection. was inspection. Inspect the key. Mm, uh, thunder and lightning. Is there a knife in it or a gun? Could you use it to stab a spook? Maybe if you got too close. Um, key their car. Jill's back saying Hi Jill. Kept reading this as Conjuring Horse and thought Horson had been in uh, the Necronomicon. <laughs> he's been at the Necronomicon again. Oh, he's got into the Necronomicon. <laughs> uh, thanks for making an awful week bearable. Be brave, Andy. I'm sorry you've had a, an awful week, but hopefully things are looking up. And it's nearly the weekend and nearly Red Dead time as well. So, Okay, the door wasn't locked and that painting has remained where it's supposed to be. Good, good. Just keeping an eye on it. Okay, we're in the hallway okay. again. Um, oh, here's the door that the key is for. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go. Right. Now I will open it using this key. What? Oh, no, it is now unlocked. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, this room also looks gross, so that's cool. It looks less gross than the other one. I don't know. Look, look, at, not look at the ceiling. Look at all that damp. damp. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, yeah, but it's still not, not as scary. Oh, it's not that a terrifying painting. Well, it has paintings. They're just not as scary, yeah. Um, Should get the volume up a bit. I can't really. Yeah, I can. I can. I can give you a volume yeah. if you want to be more terrified. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I, I need to have all my wits around me so I can hear. Oh, what are those what tentacles the... coming through the door? What the f? I mean, that seems like not something that no, should be happening. What? No, 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 no. Not not going over there. <laughs> Go over here, where the, the opposite direction. What about that game? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's completely dark in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm probably good. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. So we've got tentacles, pitch blackness. What's behind door number three? Presents? No, Ooh. but there is some light and there's oh, no tentacles. Oh, it's all set a fire going. How cosy. It's a cosy fire. A nice sofa. As long as it's not like full of human legs, that fire or something. Why would, it, why would you say a thing like that? Um, let so, me rattle through some more comments. Okay. Uh, uh, where are we? J says, did you guys have the scary stories to tell in the dark books as kids? I don't recall those. No, I, don't, I haven't um, heard of that. I had, Sounds good, though. I had, like a, I had a couple of books of ghost stories and stuff, which were kind of fun. Um, but I can't remember what they were called. Uh, William Fisher says, hi guys, watching the stream while doing college work. And we'll be joining you for your Friday the 13th yeah. the game live stream. Yeah, try and jump in, yeah. Join yeah, us. yeah, yeah. So they'll be, Maybe be adjacent. Yeah, chase us around while we get stuck in a doorway. Uh, Ruth Hodgson is watching from China. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, had a power cut for two hours while I was meant to be finishing off my Halloween costume for work this weekend. No. Going to listen to you guys whilst I power through. Good luck with the game and enjoy Red Dead 2. Thank I you. Will. Yeah, good luck with the Halloween costume. Let us know what it is. What that'd, be, that that'd be cool. Um, uh, Castaway DC, I've spent the week travelling up and down the con country with job interviews. Very tired, but I'm finally back home. We're snuggled with the cats until Andy's scream scared them away. What? Hashtag I'm... safety hats on. Yeah, Andy's not... wearing his safety beanie. I've not even screamed. Um, good luck with the job interviews. I hope that they go well. I hope they were worth the effort. Um... I need to find a torch or something. I can't see anything. Hey! <laughs> it was loading. It's fine. Right. Okay. Ter okay. You have been terrified by like... Like that screen in PT where a screen came up and you screamed the place down. I didn't scream the place down. Sorry, you right. manfully shouted I the place down. reacted appropriately. Right. The workers just stopped the renovation works and all of them left the house. But I can't blame them for that. This house 
is true to its fame. Name. Fame? That's fame, isn't it? Yeah, fame, I guess, yeah. I tried to lie to myself and ignore the reality, but it must be made clear that this house is Is really really haunted. haunted. (laughs) This house is really haunted. (laughs) Hella haunted. That's not the sort of thing that Dwight Shaw would say lightly, Mm -hmm. I imagine. Oh, I could have just read it in normal writing. That would have been easier. Um, Wait, here's a box. Open it. What do you mean it's locked? Smash it on the ground. Ugh. You need a box key. Find box key. Okay. Fine, I will. That's cool. See if I don't. Uh, Jin Kazuki says, Morning, finally I'm able to catch a live stream again. Been busy with three classes and being a facilitator for a seminar all at the same time. So tired. Whoa. Well, relax in front of Andy. Um, yeah. Terrifying himself. At least one of us can class. relax. What's this? It looks interactable. This is. Hang on. There we go. There you go. What's that? I can't see anything. It's too dark. Too anything? dark. No. Doesn't look like it, does it? I need a torch or something. Yeah. Or it's a flashlight to our American viewers. Uh, <laughs> Commander Jake Janeway says, Andy, you can do it. Whispers to Mike and everyone else. I don't think he can do I it. I can do it. I've been to Universal Horror Nights. <laughs> Sam Peters says, dying in a cutscene. Shame. Well. Well, Andy. What's happening here? This is going crazy for some reason. But it's okay. fine, I'm not scared of it. Not even scared. <laughs> uh, right, if you were a box key... Uh, East Fool says it's the Revenge of the Spicy Rat. Yes, Spicy Rat Caper. There he is, it's the Revenge of the Evil Hairy Rat, according to the label. What? Okay. Um, Selshin Kami donates very generously, actually, and says, Yay, it's my favourite outside extra duo, Muke and Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some money for Andy's cancelling after playing so many horror games. But alas, I must watch this later. It's time for it, boys. Those planes won't build themselves. That's awesome. You build planes. Yeah, That's I amazing. think they've been on before talking about building planes, That's which is a cool. pretty awesome profession. Um, Nothing in that drawer. Yes, uh, obviously Luke and Alan can't be live streaming because they're asleep, I expect. Yes. What well, with Australian be. time. Wait, is, it's nearly their Friday, isn't it? And Friday's <laughs> their first day of stuff at PAX Australia, right? Yes, yes, so they're doing a couple of things tomorrow. Jane's mm-hmm. on the panel about um, how should games make moral choices matter. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is all on the PAX Australia Twitch channel. You can watch it if you can't make it. Uh, and then they've got the outside Xbox Q&A tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Ellen is going to be on a panel called Dungeons and Dragons for Dummies. Ah, does so, that imply that she's a dummy? I mean, a little, yeah. A bit harsh, Seems a I bit think. Harsh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's what's going on tomorrow, so check out the PAX Australia Twitch channel for that stuff. Mm. Uh, but yeah, currently they're asleep because of time zones. I've got to get through some more comments because there's loads of them. Okay, um, I'm, ju- I'm just looking, I'm still searching, so I'll be quiet while you Okay, comments. cool. Catherine Hargrove says, yay, another spooky live stream to make my day. Love Oxbox and Oxtra, keep doing what you do. Happy Spooktober. Happy Spooktober to you too, Catherine. Uh, Superman Ward ones back uh, from Chennai. Love tuning into you guys every night. Are you guys excited to watch the new Halloween movie? I am. I am as well, yeah. Although you were saying the reviews have not been Yeah, they've stellar. not been great. But I like uh, Halloween films. Isn't this like they've discounted everything that happened after the first Halloween? Wait, so is Buster Rhymes no longer canon? Yeah, Buster Rhymes is now oh, no longer... I'm not on board. Are you hearing that? No, Andy. I can't hear anything. Actually, that is pretty creepy. All right. Good. Cool. Um, oh my god, another box. I have no box keys. Whoa. What? Oh no, that's me. <laughs> Stop it. Well, why are you saying that? Why make noise? Because then somebody might be there. You idiot. Um, Nick Carter's back. Hey team, the streams have been brilliant. You're too good to ask a question. It is, uh, can Red Dead beat God of War to Game of the Year or is there another contender? I think it stands a pretty good chance. Yes. Um, I haven't actually played God of War, but it looks amazing. Mm. Um, I think Red Dead... Will be better. Yeah, than God of War, probably. it's know. just so it's so ambitious in scale, and I think Ooh. brilliant as God of War is, it's difficult to contend with a game that's been seven years in development and had two thousand people or something on the on the development team. Yeah, like just the like, sheer force of numbers. Yeah, isn't it the first game that's had all the Rockstar Studios working on it at once? As far as I know, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is indeed. Which yeah, is complicated in itself, but uh, yeah, I think Red Dead might well be it. Is there another contender? Mm. Can't think of one really that's gonna. I mean, go Spider-Man was good, but it's not like Game of the Year. Really? Probably. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that would be the other one that I might have thought. It's interesting. Yeah. 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 Probably Red Dead and God of War are the two two contenders. Um, 
Alright, I'm going to have to go down that corridor with the tentacles, probably. Okay. I look forward to seeing how that pans out for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Raf Bartholomew's back. Uh, hey guys, late to the stream, but it's my 22nd birthday today. Oh, happy birthday. I'm also celebrating Halloween and my engagement this weekend. So excited. Oh wow. God. Lots of reasons to be congratulated and also to be spooked by Halloween. Yeah, so, I mean, October is already the best month. You're yep. just sort of boosting that. So yeah, congrats on the engagement, congrats on the birthday, and enjoy your Halloween weekend. <sighs> Um, Here we go. Skittles0520 says, big fan from Vancouver, uh, oh, Washington, I think that is? No. WA. What's WA? Is yeah, Washington. Washington. Yeah, there's a Vancouver in Washington. It's confusing. That's confusing. Because it's quite close to Yeah, because it's quite close to, to Vancouver, Vancouver Canada. Canada that's in Canada. Uh, happy Red Dead Day. Happy Red Dead Day to you too. Oh my gosh. Um, Jim E says, greetings from Chicago. Want yeah. to say thanks for all the shows. They helped me get through a hard time when I had a broken bone. Glad to finally catch a live show. I was sorry to hear about your breakage. Um, but I hope it's it's healed up okay and you're, you you're flashlight. What did they break? mobile again. Sorry, what did they break? Uh, just a bone is oh, all that was specified. That's, yeah, that sucks. Sounds Sorry. like an important one though. But um, yeah, heal up. Uh, Sunshine High says, Hey guys, thanks for streaming these spooky games. I'm too big of a scaredy cat to play them myself. That's fine. Andy will uh, be scared on your behalf. Andy is very <laughs> brave. Bra very brave and good. <laughs> and so we can all agree that Andy is brave. Um, Okay, he's like, oh, I need a flashlight. Why do I still have that same mote of light? In the I keep thinking it's my cursor, but it's not. Yeah, it's not. Your cursor only appears when you get close to a thing. Which right, is right. very confusing. Okay, flashlights. Oh my god. Hmm. It's fine, I just won't. Just look at my feet. Mm, just don't look. Just don't look. That's a great strategy until the game takes control of your head. Yeah, I know, it's bad. And it? points it at the scary thing. Right. <laughs> What's that? Ooh. It's that yeah. slight motion blur where like, it takes a while for it to resolve mm. what you're looking at and it just makes it even creepier because you're like, oh, shapes, shapes, and then it's just like your own shadow yeah. or like light from a window. Shapes are bad, aren't they? Yeah. They should ban shapes. All shapes. Um, what? Oh man, I can't go through any of the doors down here. I need a flashlight. Uh, Luke T. Simmons says, shamelessly donating, hoping for a birthday shout. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. That fully worked. Good well yeah. done. Good strategy. Um, working from home in Whitstable today. Whitstable's lovely. Yeah, I was um, in Whitstable recently. Red Dead 2 on pre-order. Question, what do you do after each stream? Uh, well, today we'll be publishing our feature. Yes. Um, yeah, we have a, a video going up, which yeah. is uh, a commentary edition of the... Oh, boy. Well, well that seems fine. <laughs> uh, it's a commentary edition of the video we made recently about uh, times that violence wasn't the answer. Yep. And it features me very badly playing the banjo, so look forward to that. Yeah, but on, sort of on purpose, right? Sure, let's, <laughs> let's say that it's on purpose. What am I going to do? There's a spookington. I mean, she's not moving, so... So I'll just... Slide past? She's looking at something else. I'll just, uh... <laughs> mm, she's mm. making sounds. Okay, I bet she's... That door wasn't open before, was it? Or was it? What if you go over and just say hello? I don't want to say hello. She'll kill me and eat me. Okay. Can I? Oh, I need a flashlight though, and there's a bin everywhere else. <laughs> if I if I moonwalk into her, there's nothing she can do about it. I love this strategy, and I can't wait to see how it happens. <laughs> I'm just gonna moonwalk into her, and it's fine. Maybe she's already disappeared. <laughs> What's that? Oh, she slammed the door. Oh, on she my slammed back. the door. That's fine. <laughs> now you really want to get, get in. in. Give me the torch. <laughs> Give me the flashlight. Give it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, let me get through some more comments. Um, Zega Genesis says, Andy, spooky things making my favourite. Sorry, Mike. That's okay. You're forgiven. Uh, Jody Laura says, 4pm and I've only just woken up. Was up till 7am binge watching your videos. So really, this is all up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. At least I'll be awake for Red Dead Redemption 2. I see. So you've shifted your body uh, clock to account for nice. midnight launches and such. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Shout out to everyone going to a midnight launch. Yeah, including you. Yeah. Oh, I, this room was pitch black as well, wasn't it? So, I mean, Ooh. oh, oh, huh. is this, have I been here? Maybe not. Hello? Ah, okay, no. Voice lines. Right Give me a flashlight. Oh, so you have to brave the darkness. Ah, uh, no, it's just, people open doors so quickly in horror games. I feel like I've been here. Yeah, it looks familiar, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Maybe not through here. Um, oh, is this the hallway again? Yeah, this is the front door. I have been here. All right. Shelf of Unread Books says, really enjoying your streams this week, guys. They're keeping me sane while I study for my MA. So here's a little something to say thanks mm. for all you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, not, not 
uh, mandatory but appreciated. Thank you. Um, Martin Lingren is a new member. Thanks for your support. Uh, George Bynum oh. says, hopefully there'll be some screams and fear singing to brighten a rainy work day. Thanks for traumatising yourself for our entertainment, Andy. Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear beanies. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, so, wait. That was... Which was the door that she came through? That spooky lady. I... I, my mental map here, of this right? house does yeah, not yeah, exist. Yeah, it was down here and it was on the right. Oh, yeah, okay. So I can maybe go around the other way. What? And, uh, catch her in a pencil? Yeah, yeah, Flank exactly. her. Flank her. Exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Nice. That, if that's nice. your strategy. Oh, for I can run. run. Oh, that's... Oh, thank God. Right. I haven't been in here, apparently, because the... No, I have. Haven't I? Yes. Yes, I have. Yeah. Who's closing the doors? I need these open. So I know where I've been. Uh, Hooligan Lab says, Thanks for inspiring me to make an Ox Venture video game. Art oh, and yeah. testing was done with the great Ox fan community. It's been so fun. We plan on streaming Alpha Gameplay on Saturday. Oh, amazing. Cool. Um, yeah, tweet us and let us know when that's happening and uh, we'll try and tune in. Um, so we can check it out. Uh, Amadeus says, Cheers from Poland. Oh, cool. Um, uh, yeah, shout out to thank, Poland. Yeah, Poland's awesome. Um, Is this where she was? Martin Lingren donates. Thank you so much. Uh, as does Open Cram. Uh, thank you. Uh, Grant Anderson says, It's not my birthday, but I was hoping you could say happy birthday anyways. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. That also worked. Uh, love the stream and good luck not getting too spooked, Andy. Um, uh, Patrick Long says, Any plans for a commenter edition of addicting item get sounds? I have one. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. I'm not sure what that's from. Yeah, but, what um, is that from? But maybe, I don't know if there's enough good comments in the, in the uh, thing. Uh, what the? Maybe. What happened? Oh, doll. Oh, doll. Just a creepy oh, doll. Creepy doll. And there's a creepy doll. Uh, Kira Gaming says, easy. the usual donation. No questions this time. Just lots of love for all the binging I got to do on your videos the past seven months while being ill. You guys definitely kept my spirits up. I'm sorry you were ill, but hopefully uh, you're feeling better. And uh, hopefully you've collected your console, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Red yeah. Dead. Red Dead's... Um... Or maybe it's tonight you're collecting it. I don't know what time it is where you are. Can but... uh, someone in the comments please tell me where I can find a flashlight? Because this is starting okay. to... It's starting to get to me. I need some light. Uh, it's too spooky. Uh, Keith Brady says, I can't donate. Payday is Friday. Don't worry. If you can't donate, uh, it's, not, yeah, it's, it's not mandatory. It's fully not mandatory. Uh, do not worry. And we try and get into, no the, into the uh, comments as much as possible. So um, I can't leave now. <laughs> Gotta find the team. You're a bit chipper, aren't you? For this, you just saw a spooky octopus woman. <laughs> right, Fun game, Andy gets a super early release of Red Dead 2, but he can only play it alone inside the Conjuring house. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh no, what if Conjuring happens? Uh, anyone any idea where the flashlight is? Let yeah, us know. Yeah, please do let us know. Because... Uh, searched around this whole damn place. Uh, Kathy Ed is watching the comments so she doesn't have to look at the screen. Okay, that's fair enough. That's good. Um, Wish I could do that. Martin Lingren says, in the flashlight shop. Haven't seen that, Martin. Yeah, um, not a feature of the Conjuring house. Jesus Almighty says lots of dads in the chat today. Cool. Okay. Dads are welcome. Yep. <laughs> welcome all dads. Uh, flashlight, flashlight, flashlight. Aaron Mulkeen, can you go upstairs? We have been upstairs, haven't we? Yeah, there was... I don't think there was anything up there. I'm going to have another look. I don't trust stairs in horror games. No. They might so, give way, and you know then there's scorpions. That tentacle door, was she just, is she just moving around the house? No, I think that was a scripted thing. This okay. is So that's locked with a thing. This... This one is locked. So we need a Pisces key, don't we, as well? Yeah, and a uh, Taurus. Okay. You look at my objectives. Got to find a Pisces, oh, and an Aries, and a box, and the expedition members, and the flashlight. Find the expedition members. That's like low down your list of priorities, it seems. Right. Yeah. And then this, I think this one was stuck as well. So right. yeah, all the doors upstairs don't work. Okay. Um. Rob Page says, so you're not still, you're, you're not still looking for rods. No, not rods this time. No. A Keys flashlight. and flashlights. It's a similar similar setup, only now it's a flashlight. Uh, Larsa Maniac says, Yeah, I'm a dad, fresh, just six weeks old. Man, congrats. I'd imagine you're getting not very much sleep right now. Yeah. Uh, at the mo, uh, but thanks for joining us with your precious, precious energy. <laughs> <laughs> Using some of your dwindling supply. Yeah, energy. exactly. Uh... Kengata says, Greetings Andy, Mike sadly I've been at work for all the live streams, but just wanted to drop in to say I've been enjoying catching up with them once I get home. You guys rock and have a spooktacular rest of the day. Yeah, well nice. thank you for joining us, even if it's not live. And uh, yeah, you have a spooktacular 
day as well. Mike, just look it up on Game Facts and tell me how to find the flashlight. All right, okay, okay. Oh my. Live tech support. Yeah. Or not tech support. You get Survivor that thing support. where it becomes less spooky and just more annoying. Like at the end of PT when oh, we were trying, trying to get yeah, the ending to trigger. Uh, and I just got really annoyed Conjuring with House... F A Q. Uh, flash. If I press F, flashlight is the first thing. Ah, good. Where is it? Where did they put the flashlight? They put, I mean, there's dolls everywhere. If the aim was to find a spooky doll, I'd be fine. <laughs> oh wait. Oh. Okay, I found a bit I haven't been in yet, so it might be in here. Okay. Maybe someone's just using the bathroom. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna leave them to it. Uh, apparently there's some game breaking bugs in this game oh Hopefully sweet they've been fixed sweet um, can't wait to encounter those it's this whole house looks the same is that part of this psychological toll it's taking on me maybe just, yeah just, the whole house just looked the same uh, hmm <laughs> oh didn't read that apparently we'll be following a ghost called Robert at some point Robert Okay, well, don't know where that went. There's a lot of noises happening. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, oh it's Robert. Robert. We've got to follow Robert. him. Robert is the guy that we were playing as in the thing when he got stabbed. Right. Okay. Robert, Robert come back. Uh, oh, wait, can I have this? Can I have that? Candle. Uh, yeah. Have the note. I saw it too. This mysterious woman that everyone is talking about. She was there to watch us. It was the evil incarnate. Something <laughs> terrible will happen. We must leave this place as soon as possible, it says Alton Lewis. Mm -hmm. He should know. Oh, blood stain on the ground. Oh my god. Oh no. Alright. Oh, Wait. what's that? Oh, it's a combination oh. lock. Oh. It's just like the fish man prophesized. Find the padlock code. Well, I. Give me one objective at a time, game. <laughs> Too many objectives. We're real bad at multitasking, so. Oh, a bathroom. That's. I need a. I need a flashlight. Hmm. Oh, do you? Mm, finally, he what has a bad tip you off, genius? Was it the <laughs> tentacle octopus ghost? Oh my god. None of these drawers even have anything in them. The spookiest thing of all. Alright, this better be the flashlight room. Hey, look. I would keep a flashlight in here. Yeah, look how well lit it is. Uh... Okay. Mm. Oh! 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 oh, oh what the? Why? Where, where did... No! No, no, what? Oh, dear. Some plague doctor looking oh. dudes. What? I'm sure this is fine. Are they... Are they real? Don't know. Did they leave a button print? Did they leave a flashlight? <laughs> did, they leave... did they lay a flashlight? Oh, my God. You saw it all happen. What did you see? Open that, and then Tell maybe me. you can go down to the back cave. Yep. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Open the globe and see if yes. there's drinks in it. Of course. Drinks globe? No. Uh, Rack Bartholomew's back saying, thanks guys, it's also my fiance's birthday today, so we're having a joint oh. birthday Halloween engagement party on Saturday. It's going to get wow. messy. Man. Congrats. Wow, there's yeah. a lot going on in your household. Well, happy birthday to your fiance. And yeah, um, yeah shout out to October, the best month. Uh, Nisanza De Silva's back. Hey, hey Nisanza. Uh, I have a Halloween feature list suggestion. Games where heads are carried around. <laughs> Mon what, like, Monkey Lollipop, Island, Lollipop Chainsaw, Lollipop Chainsaw yeah. Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. Uh, okay. God, the God of War, where you have um, Helios's head. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some creepy dolls on the on the sofa. Yes, my kind of. There's creepy dolls on the sofa. What are they? Have? Oh, creepy dolls. Yeah, they're just creeping around, creeping up the place. Do you remember the woman faces. in black film? Yes. Um, like, and it had all those creepy toys, and they were all like period Victorian toys that were designed for children. Yes. I d oh, they had that clown that was like rocking Yeah, around. exactly, yeah, and like weird automatons and stuff. Now, now, the house is bad, it seems. There's that thing that the guy had. Yep, music box, apparently. Mm. There's a staff. Okay, good start. After much research, we discovered the existence of... Oh, why do we want to conjure the demon into the world? Assume we have to destroy them? Destroy them, yeah. Maybe. The only way to get rid of it would be to destroy these evil eyes by burning them. 
we specified okay. The that sounds doable. They don't know what the fifth one is. We didn't find any information about is the flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> Not burning that if you get one. We'll focus on the search and destruction of the four items we've specified. Right. We'll have to separate to save time. I know it's a huge risk. Separating in a horror thing is always a good idea. I'd I think. stay together. <laughs> Tortoise formation. You're a bigger target then, though, aren't you? Just, yeah, be constantly firing a machine gun in all directions at once. That's a good strategy. Okay. I can get behind that. Uh, the Great Nagus says, First time living completely alone, and I can't think of a better way to enjoy my new freedom. Congrats. Yeah. I although... assume you're starting university or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Um, you might get spooked, though. But if you're spooked true, through, you're on your yeah. own. It's pretty bad. Ah, oh, bookcase. This missing a book. Or is it? None of them open, a, open the thing, do they? Stick your head in there, in okay. that trumpet. It's not a trumpet. <laughs> <coughs> Gramophone right. trumpet, that's the technical term for it. Um, where, where you uh, Kira Gaming's back saying, five hours till I get my console in Red Dead 2, you're keeping me sane while I wait and schedule my Uber to the shops. Yeah. Amazing. It's going to be a long old night for you. Ah. James Spencer, why don't you go and say hello? I don't want to say hello, she might kill me and eat me. Me at the club when I was in my early 20s. <laughs> I hope you eventually learned how to talk to girls. Yeah, I hope um, no one killed you and ate you. Yes, that's true. Uh, Abhishek Sonaji donates, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Justin Martin, awake again at 1am to catch a live stream while I wait for Red Dead to download. I hope I'll enjoy it as much as Andy will. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be pretty great. Cowboys are good. Um, right. uh, I, need an, I need a code. I need a flashlight. I need so many things. Uh, Easter Fool says, what platforms are this and dying re What happened? Well, even the rats are running away, so it must be pretty scary in there. <laughs> Alright, fine. Get involved. Come on then, bring it on. Sorry, what were you saying about Dying Reborn? Uh, Easter Fool's wanted to know what this and Dying Reborn were playable on. Uh, this is PC only at the moment, I think. It's on Steam. Um, is uh, this... Oh my god, a basement. Oh boy. But there might, there might be a flashlight in the basement. That's true, another good place to keep a flashlight. Although normally you'd want it to go into the for going into the basement. Yes. Um, uh, Dying Reborn is available on all platforms, I think. Xbox One, PC, and PS4. It has VR support on PC and PS4, I think. So. Well, that's locked. Um, cool. And there's no flashlight. And that's a dark corner. Okay, let's get out of this horror basement. Yeah. Um, Lottisaurus VA says hi guys love watching your spooky live streams along with a cup of tea and some spooky treats that's Ooh. exactly what we're doing spooky treats uh, question what's your favourite Friday the 13th movie oh um, I mean they're all quite bad <laughs> um, probably the second one where Jason had a bag on his head that's quite good you know I don't think I've ever seen one all the way through I've Have seen you? like clips of one but I don't think I've ever seen one the whole way through so maybe the first one maybe I'll watch the first one and let you know what I think um uh, yeah, they, they went a bit weird. There's that one where... Um, it's the one where Jason's in space with Freddy Krueger. Oh, for Jason X is quite... No, it's not with Freddy Krueger. Jason X is the one where he's in space. Right. But then was Freddy versus Jason, right, which right. is the one with Freddy Krueger. And then there's there's one where Jason isn't the killer. It's some guy dressed as Jason. Oh, the, and, the scream effect. Yeah. No, this is this was like in the 80s. It's not good. Oh, right. Okay. Nothing seems to stop this demon woman. We are trapped. <laughs> good. A safe area... You can oh, okay. close the door behind you if you find a safe area. All right. Maybe he's done. Oh, is that what this oh. symbol means? Safe area. Maybe he's written a load of stuff on the door. Yeah, oh, it's a safe it's area. A shrine. Close the door. All right, good. If I were a video game, though, I'd make the safe area the bit where you get spooked. Oh, Looks cool, God. though. I like what I like what they've done with the place. Yeah, I like this uh, luminescent paint on yeah. here. Oh, I can save now. Right, nice. This is how you save. Good. So we haven't saved up until now. No, I could have been spook spookened at any point. Fair enough. And died. Uh, Did he want to leave me a torch I, or anything in this? <laughs> yeah, room? that would be no. nice. I can't believe you can't just take a candle. Yeah. Anyway. Apparently not. Uh, to answer Lottie Soros' question, I've decided Jason X is my favourite one because it's in space. Yeah. And then he gets rebuilt with nano machines, yeah. and then he's like a robot Jason. Um, Danny O'Sullivan's a new member thank you for joining us um, Zaxilla1 is back saying don't worry Andy the dolls don't, won't come to life yet yet <laughs> oh my god uh, my only alias says hate horror games but watching you play them is fantastic you can do it Andy you've got a lot of support in the comments I think good thank you I believe in myself <laughs> uh, what what was why, that knocking noise why the strings why who's the knocking strings? and why strings 
Any tentacles anywhere? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, oh, there's a key. Ah, oh, sweet. Is it the it's the Pisces one or something or the Aries? Oh, wait! It what? ran away. What the hell? No, I want that. I need that. Was it moved by a ghost? It was moved. Oh, there's like a platform tile or something. Oh, it's like ghost children playing with you. Look, ghost children. I'm I'm in no mood. <laughs> Maybe you need an umbrella to go and get it. Oh my god, that would be the worst. Get the... Oh my. How hard is it to move a chair? Seriously? Get under the table. Do you have to enter from the end? Yeah, I think you do. And I think probably a spook's going to get oh you. Oh no. A spooky child is going to go... When you reach your hand out to grab it, it's going to grab your hand and go... Ah! That's what's going to happen. 100%. Well, here we go. <laughs> Cute little jerks. Give it back. Ah! She's the... <laughs> oh, I can turn around with the left trigger. That's useful to know. <laughs> yes. You just discovered that in a moment of panic. All right, she ran off, and I have the Ares key. Cool. I am the master of the Ares key. What the heck? Right, run, run, run. No, no, jeez. <laughs> what the hell? Go, go, man, go. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Stop <laughs> twiddling your head around. No. Well, that was amazing. Well, that was fully worth <laughs> turning up to the live stream for. Um, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, I now don't need to do what Inukun 2008 suggested, which was he commented saying, uh, hey guys, and then for Mike, cry out there's something behind you to see how Andy reacts. I go like I this. I don't need to. <laughs> see? I don't need I to. Do you that. just got spooked by a ghost child. Oh uh, Mr. Hedgeball, will you be doing some Hitman 2 live streams? You're going to be stuck into Red Dead 2 for months. Also, having been a dad for 11 years, I'm still sleepless. Um, we will be. I'm sure we'll stream Hitman 2. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, we've streamed Hitman 1 several times, so um, we're not going to be neglecting Hitman 2 when it comes out. Um, don't worry, but we will also be playing a lot of Red Dead, I'm sure as well. Uh, Warnier says, currently pre-installing Red Dead Redemption 2. Haven't been this excited for a game since the release what? of Halo 3. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, the stream has distracted me while I wait the grading on my first uni exam. Thanks for that. Oh man. Oh, good luck. Good luck with it all. Uh, oh, Stephen Bill okay. says love watching the live streams while working. Are there any non-scary movies that scared you when you were kids? Interesting question. Uh, the kids Dark Crystal. Yeah, I mean you the sketches were pretty frightening, weren't they? Yeah. Um, but it's supposed not. I suppose supposed to be. I kind of like that though. I like those. Was Labyrinth supposed to be scary? Oh, it did. Yeah, there's the bit where um, the bit that creeped me out in Labyrinth was where she's in that like junk pile and she ends up in a replica of her own bedroom and she thinks oh, she's yeah. sort of home, but it's all weird and wrong. But I love those old, like... Oh, a doll. Oh, a doll. That's definitely going to move, isn't it? It's looking down. It's going to look up, isn't it? Hey, doll. How's What's... it going? That's normal. <laughs> normal and fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. The box is locked. Maybe the doll has the key. Doll. We haven't seen one box key. I haven't key. seen one... Friggin' box key. Um, uh, throw anyways, this doll on the floor. What I was gonna say was, uh, I like kids' films that are a bit frightening and don't don't treat kids like they're idiots, you know. And that, yeah, uh, you know, some of my favourite, most memorable kids' films are the ones that are just a bit scary and that freak me out a bit as a yeah, child. Yeah, I always like spooky stuff as yeah. a kid, like Goosebumps. And yeah, I haven't yeah. seen those Goosebumps movies. Oh, I've seen the first one, and was there's a good? sequel announced. Yeah, um, the sequel out now. Yeah, it was uh, the first one was really fun because it was kind of meta in that it was the main character was R.L. Stein, the guy yeah, who wrote yeah, yeah. a bunch of the books played, played by, by Jack, Jack Black, Jack Black yeah. who is great uh, and it was really fun because it was basically one of those classic like all the things he writes about are coming to life uh, so there's a load of the kind of classic Goosebumps monsters sort of running around a town which was fun uh, and I yeah I wouldn't mind seeing the, the new one actually um, uh, Patrick Long says Jason went to the one place not corrupted by capitalism <laughs> <laughs> yes that's why he went there um Commander Jake Janeway's back saying, Andy, I only tease you because of my own insecurities. You're a far braver man than me, and you, as you play oh. games, I'm too much of a wimp too. This is a good point. You do torture yourself with these games. Um, I had a... Mm, I need to find a... I've got the key that is... Uh, uh, the Ares key. I need to find an Ares door. But this house is very confusingly laid out. Yeah. I don't think we've seen the Ares door, have we? Yeah, we've yeah, seen a yeah. bunch of... 
We saw the Pisces one. All right, let's just retrace my steps. I think there was... Was it off this this room? Maybe. It would make sense that they're all... Oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save room. Is it a save? Oh, it's a save room. Yeah, I mean, it's got okay. the logos and stuff. But I just it, saved. Maybe. I mean... But you've also just been menaced by a, that's a ghosty... That's true. I was fully menaced. Let's save again. Um... Uh, Jim Kazuki says speaking of creepy period toys what popular do toy do you think will be considered creepy in the future my guess would be the Furby I think Furbies are already Furbies are already creepy already enough aren't they considered yeah you know I was talking about uh, there's a Brett Easton Ellis novel called Luna Park which is not yeah. a very good novel but um, one of the motifs in that is that there's a Furby-esque toy called a Turby right and it, it really uh, yeah, works, really, works hard yeah, on that yeah, name exactly, Brett yeah. um, ah! oh that's Robert that's your man Robert no Boy, <laughs> what's he doing down there? I don't know, hanging out, just chilling. Um, and it, it sort of comes to life and creeps people out and stuff. He's, he's still going to be there, yeah, yeah. Are you going to be walking to him as well? You just saved, so That's true. you're I'll golden. Sprint. Robert. Why, his eyes are all glowing, of course it's yeah. not him. His eyes are glowing like one of those Ghostbusters ghosts. There's crows. Wait, 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 no! Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Oh! Whoa! What's crows? Uh, is it dead? Did it hit the wall? What on earth is going yeah, on? Yeah, dead bird. Oh my god. Freaky deaky. Okay. Well, I, okay, here's another door that I have a key to. So, let's go in. Uh, Eric Korf says, Just fully beat Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Spider-Man DLC in preparation for Red Dead Redemption 2. Nice. It's been a job. long week, lots of grind, grinding. First live stream caught. Uh, yeah, I finished Wolfenstein 2 last night as well. Did a ghost come out? No, I mean, just look at this. Yeah, it's bad. This oh, is it a combination? Though. For the combination lock? Yeah. Um, yeah, I just finished Wolfenstein 2 last uh, last night. I call it like finishing school, because it's this time of year where you kind of finish all the stuff you've been meaning to, so you've got space on your hard drive for the new exciting stuff. Who shut that door? Well, Who's shutting all the doors? I guess go and have a look at that. Fine, oh, flashlight! That's the flashlight! I mean, yes, that is a flashlight. Grab it! So that's good. Yeah! But... Cool! What's yeah, the other numbers? Number in them all. Yeah, thanks, genius. Eight, I'm gonna say and it is. other numbers have been erased. Oh, man. And yeah, I, it's the a combination lock. Yeah, oh, Maybe do you think? With the lock code that I found on the this guy's the worst investigative detective ever. This? And why? How can we find the other numbers? <laughs> Ellen says, Mike, why are you so fearless? Is there a game that can actually scare you? Uh, I don't know. The thing with games with me is... Ah! Oh, who's that in the corner? It's all got a bit Blair Witch. God. Oh, he's smashing his head against the wall. Well, I'll just be leaving then. See you later. Yeah, Shit, smash it on. with your flashlight. Open the door. Ugh. Is he still there? Oh yeah, he's still there. The ghosts don't really disappear so much in this, do they? No, they just sort of go over around. and see if he's okay. He might have a bit of a headache he's okay. after all that. I'm just gonna casually walk over to the door. Oh, that one's slightly ajar, isn't it? Yeah, you can probably get out there. <laughs> just walk into the door. You fear whistling. Oh, Look and the fear singing has come out. The guy, out. he's over <laughs> there still. It's Who are you talking to? Gonna leave the room. Let me out of the room. Come on. Right. So both the doors have somehow become locked. Yeah, and your friend Robert is smashing his face into a pole. Well, one thing he won't have counted on is me moonwalking into him. <laughs> what about that, Robert? What about that? Ah! Why? Why? <laughs> he spun you around before. Ah! Oh, um, Robert. Uh. Ellen, to answer your question, uh, I found Alien oh. Isolation very tense. Get out from here. Do uh, it then. That's not a number. Go. I was trying to get out, but you'd locked all the doors. Go out the way it's telling you to go. Don't go the other way. I'm just seeing if. Yeah, hang about. Sure, that seems good. Follow the advice. I'm doing Written it. In blood. I'm doing it. All right. So we have the number eight. Yes. What? No. Why would you? No. Oh, she's back. Leave me alone. Or give me some numbers. Do something useful. You can press escape to skip this. <laughs> apparently. Press escape to escape. Oh, slow zoom. Oh, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Just shake it off. Is that what you got? Ah! Oh. Oh, she's, got she's got a spooky face. <laughs> that was an excellent jump scare. She's well got done, a fully no. spooky face at me. Oh, my 
my god. <laughs> Get to the save room. Is she going to be there again? Is she going to go for number three? I don't know. No, she's sure. coming. Oh my god, she's coming and she's coming strong. Run away! I'm, it's giving you the run prompt. It's giving you the ah. run prompt. Ah, run! Damn find it, run! Find a safe room. I'm gonna. Ah. Oh, she's there. No. Get in the safe, safe room. room. Safe room. No, you can't get me. I'm in a safe room. <laughs> you are dead. That is a real jerk move. <laughs> you were literally just in there. I was in the safe room. Maybe you're not allowed to go into that particular safe room. Well, oh, right. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let's have some comments while I okay. de-stress. Uh, uh, Ellen was asking if there's any game that actually scares me. Alien Isolation I found creepy and tense, but then whenever I got caught, it was never as bad as I sort of was expecting it to be, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, Corey Wilson says, Andy's reaction is the best, here's some money. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, I don't have my torch, I've got to go through that whole thing again. I can skip it this time at least. So, how am I going to escape if I can't go to the safe room? Um, keep running, I guess? Yeah, kite her around until... Right. Yeah. No, 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 it's Robert. Yeah, it is Robert. Is that you? Yeah, it is. It is Robert. Correct. <clears throat> yeah, he's, uh... He's doing his thing. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> I'm trying to skip. I don't think you can skip that one. It gives you the prompt when it... What is going on here? Right. Some more comments, so I'm just going back through this. Yeah, sorry, I lost uh, my wireless connection a second ago. Not going back. Oh, it's a six now. Wait, what? The number's changed? Yeah, apparently. Oh, so you can't just... You can't just look it up. Look it up on the internet. Uh, okay, Wendy Salvo has donated. Nathan Essay is a new member. Stephen Radden says, after three Thanks, years, you're still my favourite channel and personalities out there. If you're in Austin, happy to buy you a beer. Have a spoopy Halloween. Thanks for the offer. I'd love to visit Austin, actually. That's yeah. Really pretty cool. I think Ellen's the only one of us out of us yeah. who's been. Uh, Runex Heart says, Andy's bravest boy playing all these spoopy games to oh, save the rest of us from them. Mm. Uh, Andy's connected with the lock code that I found on the door. This guy. But who drew this? And why? 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 Uh... Octagon27 says, won't make it to Resden, wish I was in Oz. Raph Bartholomew says, somehow I'm drunk before 4pm, birthday's rock. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Uh, uh, there's Robert. Um, there's his sprint at him. Alright, everyone look away if you don't want to get spooked. Because he's going to spook us. Um, Jim E says, it's hard for a young man to say he broke his hip. That's fine. Just say you did it fighting a, fighting a bear or something. Just say you did it fighting a bear. Um, Just say you broke your hip, it's fine. People um, break hips. Mike, did Alien Isolation not scare you at all? Not really, but it made me very, very tense. Thought it was a great game. It is a great game. Uh, wish more would have bought it. Yeah, me too. Okay, Andy. All right. How are we going to deal with this situation? That's the corridor she's in. I assume that door doesn't work. Oh, uh, here we yeah. go. So, I think this door is locked. But you also, uh, so. she's behind me at this point anyway, so I can't get past her right. to open this door. Um, I think maybe I turn around and run the other way. <laughs> Because I can't, like, run towards her. Well, sh yeah, you're going to have to keep... I think you just need to keep running, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, wait, no, run away. Yeah, away. Are you running? Yeah, I'm running. Okay. Because uh, she appears in this room, but maybe... Is there another way you can go... Uh, go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the right, maybe? Does that door work? Oh, oh that's bad. That is bad. Keep going, keep going, running away, running away, running away. Running away! Doesn't it keep running? Yeah. Forever, maybe. Just forever. Run forever. Tap, 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 tap. Big open room like this. You just run around and circle straight away. Oh, that door is stuck. Of course it is. Is she in the room with us? Oh, yeah, oh, she's yeah, in the room she with us. Is. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just going to kite her around. No! Can't get kited around. Hmm. Uh, Alright, but I can kite her around, though, so. Okay, cool. Sorry about this. Everyone. It's all right. We're just dying, uh, but it's fine. It's part of the game. Should have an auto save, really. Drunk uh, uh, yeah. fifty eight wants to know which games we'd say we're the best at. I'd say racing games, probably, uh, of the games. Uh, I'm unbelievably good at Joe Danger. The, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah. the bike stunt game. And like Tony Hawk's games, I'm really, really good at Tony Hawk's games. Yeah. Um, there's Robert. There's our old pal Rob. Rob a lob. Those are probably the ones I'm best at. Uh, Lee Dello says, good on you guys for missing the bug and finding the torch without help. I mean, you then immediately died, but two out of three is good. Missing the bug. Yeah, it's that thing I said about a game break, game breaking oh, bug. Okay. Maybe they've fixed it. Maybe they patched it. Um, George Bynum says, "Yay, fear singing! My day is complete." Also, I peed a little, but only a little. I have far too much PTSD to play these games. That's fair enough. Well, we'll play them for you. Don't worry. And Torin Barkenshield says, "Getting ready to take my oral comps. The last thing I need to do for my master's degree." Thanks for all you do. Keep up the amazing work. Love you all. Thank you, and good luck. Good luck with your uh, oral comps, whatever the hell they are. Yeah. Raised. <laughs> this guy. This unskippable guy. Oh, and that's a padlock. Uh, it's <laughs> connected with the lock code. Andy, have you ever thought that it might be connected yeah. with the lock code but that you Yeah, it's literally the first thing this. I thought. And why? So, have you got any advice for how to avoid getting murdered here? Close the door, <laughs> is what someone's yeah. saying. I tried to do that the first time. Maybe... We tried to get into the save room, but maybe we can just run in and close the door. Yeah, right? if I... If I'm quicker, because it took me a, too long to turn around last time. Mm. All right, jump scare. Maybe put it full screen with us, so people don't have to see the jump scare again. Yeah. All right. There we Camera go. big. There we are. Just watch Andy's face. Hmm. It's fine. Delicious it. jump scares. I'm used to it now. Okay. Back to picture in picture. A jump scare happened. Right. I'm not taking any nonsense this time. I'm going to sprint straight to the save room and lock the door. Sarah Shoot is back of, hey. of the Dying Reborn tips and says, into the save room and shut the door. We definitely tried I, the I save tried room. I tried doing that. Okay. We went, we went like halfway. Okay, so, so run, 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 run. We're going to have to try the save room again, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just be quicker about... I, was, I turned around door. while it was still black there, so right. hopefully... Little urgency, please. Little urgency. Thank you. Shut the door. Shut the door. There we go. And save it. Why not? Yeah. You can't save the game now. What do you mean, get rid of my enemy first? You get yeah. rid of it. Well, we can just wait in here. We've got all day. Well, we're in the save room. Should we get bored and wander off? She better. Is the music going to stop? Yeah, save. Oh, all right, good. Save that game. That's what I was trying to do last time. Interesting though, because it's not, I mean, it's not quite Alien Isolation, but it's that kind of being chased around by something, isn't it? That's organic and... Let me tell you this, Mike. I hate it. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Now I can go in all the spooky rooms that were too dark before. Oh, wait, I've been in there. Where was the room that was dark, dark, and I couldn't go in it? Oh, is it the bathroom? Yeah, 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 but where was it? I honestly can't remember. I hope that monster isn't just, just activated just now. Like just like activated roaming. roaming, yeah. Oh, electrics. This place is pretty dark. Yeah, I think it was down here. Does your flashlight recharge when you're not using it? Uh, I think so. I hope so. Oh, what's that on the thing? Uh, or is that... Is that a flashlight battery? Oh, is that what those things are? Uh, oh, okay. so I need to pick up flashlight batteries. Oh, good. Well, it's always good to know your flashlight is a limited resource. Yes. Always a good mechanic. Jamie Dancer is saying, save your torch in the comments. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's boy. This there's a the floating skull face. Just... What? Why? <laughs> no. It's a real bonanza of different spooks, isn't it? Right? Yeah. Oh, of course it's locked. <laughs> Meth Borton says, Psst, your torch battery is dying. Yeah, no, we I know got, that I now. I've got loads of them, I've got loads of them. Apparently, uh, Audie Murray says, look in some areas for batteries, they're everywhere. Okay, good. Cool, we'll keep an eye out for them. We've got two, so that's fine. It's enough for now. I'm sure we won't need any more. Just got to find that dark bathroom. I do not remember where it was. Uh, Volko Yuppie says, hello guys, what's your favourite horror movie? What's your uh, favourite horror movie, Andy? I don't know, I'm going to save it again. Uh, my favourite horror movie? That's a good question. I really, uh, we, did we talk about this yesterday? I really like The Cabin in the Woods. It's yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of like actual horror, like scary horror, 
to be scared with. Yeah. Uh, I saw Hereditary this year, which is mm. messed up. Yeah, and I've yet to see that one. One of those horror films that you think about like when you're lying in bed that night, yeah. just staring at the ceiling going... Uh, I had uh, that with like the original Ring as well. Yes, yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favourites, the Japanese one. Um, and The Exorcist is a really good horror film as well. It's yeah. like really messed up. Um, Rosemary's Baby. Yeah. It's a good one. Um, I know it's not a great, necessarily a great horror film, but we were talking about yesterday the um, the Hammer Horror uh, Woman in Black. Oh yeah, uh, it's like Daniel Radcliffe is really poorly cast as a as sort of father of a child because he looks like a child himself. But everything else about that film, I really love the uh, I love the aesthetic of it. The you know the the sort of tone. Uh, it's really creepy, like very very creepy. Yeah. Um, I just love that it's set on that kind of that house on the island in the middle of that sort of bog, and there's a kind of causeway to get to it and stuff. So that's kind of cool. And it's also just cool to see like Hammer Horror back making horror films. Yeah, because uh, they're like cool. a name that's you know legendary over here for horror movies. Jane and I watched the Amityville Horror the other day, the one with Ryan Reynolds in it. Oh yeah, and Ryan Reynolds is so distractingly ripped in it. It's yeah. like he would have to be working out like four hours a day. Did he film it immediately after like Blade Trinity or something? Yeah, I think so. Like and it's just like shredded. he's put this suburban dad who is for some reason looks like a... Like Arnold Schwarzenegger in all of his roles. Yeah, it's, well, he, yeah, he looks like a personal trainer or something. Mm. It's very distracting. Uh, Does he take his shirt off a lot? Yeah, he does. He's always shirtless. <laughs> it's the other thing. All right. <clears throat> uh, Sonaji, Conjuring movie fran- franchise, score it best to worst. Uh, I've only seen the first one. I thought it was decent. Uh, I saw The Conjuring 2, and The Conjuring is the one with the Ed and Lorraine Warren one, right? Where they're... Oh, what's that number? Ah, six, again. Oh, okay. Wait, but was it a one this time on the other yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Unspecified uh, position six, good. Right, what okay. Well, at least you're making notes of them, that's cool. Yeah. Um... The, uh, the Conjuring uh, 2 is that's the one where it's set in London right in like Enfield yeah I think um, is that the one where they film like, so I, my local used to be the Warrington in Made of Earl yes. and they film a scene in there right yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it one. but I just read about it uh, yeah that's the one and it's um, it's quite funny because all the interior shots of this like terrace house in London clearly the American producers couldn't get their head around like British house dimensions mm. so everything is massive yeah oh that's that's where it is this is the dark room. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I've got it. That's cool. Is there a number okay. on the wall? Uh, there's a lot of bugs in here. Oh, a mirror. I wonder if there's anything in the mirror. Blah. Nope. What's that? It's snakes, snakes on the toilet. <laughs> a sequel to Snakes <laughs> yeah, on a Plane. The unpopular <laughs> sequel. There's got to be something in here. You shouldn't um, be allowed to have a room. Oh, there's a flashlight battery. I mean, yeah, but I mean, something's not a wasted trip. No? No numbers? Apparently not. Uh, Zeropup91 donates. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, Raph Bartholomew wants to know if we have any Halloween plans or your costumes. I think we're going to a party on the on the actual day of Halloween. Um, Are you? Yeah, after we live stream. Oh, okay. Um, and... Let's flush the toilet. Does that work? No. No. Uh, but I don't have a costume. So there's no open... Uh, hmm. And then well, usually we would go to a party with the um, the other guys, uh, but they're all in Australia on yeah, Halloween. So or, or we'll be landing on Halloween the day and yeah. be completely shattered. So um, I can't believe there's nothing in this bathroom. Commander Jake Janeway says, "What you really need is a safety broom." That's correct. Oh my god, my sa- that made me feel so safe in amnesia. There's seriously nothing in the toilet. All right. Uh, okay. Rebenta says hi from Australia. Uh, and keep up the great work you do on YouTube. It's 3 a.m. right now here. Man. Yeah, good. Nice. It's late. Thank you for staying up. Uh, I'm going to look for more numbers. And then maybe. That sounds like a good plan. Um, do you want to save it, given that you've now got another number? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Seeing as I'm here. Um. Incan2008 says, with the US version of The Ring, I was watching in a hotel room, and as the phone in the movie rang, you have seven days, the hotel phone room no. phone rang. Bad times. There was bad, a real jerk thing on the DVD of that, because, you know, it was like early in DVD yes. infancy. 
if you like left it on the menu for about five minutes, it just played a loud Wasn't phone it? ringing Because they had the video, didn't they? Like you could yeah. just watch the video. And I think maybe it was after you'd watched the after video, it went back video. to a version of the menu where after five minutes of phone ringing sound happened. That's a real joke. Like move. absolute, yeah, joke move. Flashlight batteries are like... There you go. Nice. See nice them everywhere now. Yeah. Good. Get the... Thank you. Um, and then... The one who snacks says, hey, you goony tunes. Are there any games that make you feel weapons grade stupid, either with difficulty or concept? Um, most real-time strategy games make me feel really stupid. Yeah. Because uh, I just don't understand them. Yesterday when we were trying to figure out those locker puzzles. <laughs> yeah, that did make me feel stupid as well. But I feel even stupider for being made to feel stupid by that game yeah. with the giant fish head guy. Um, uh, yeah, and there's a game called Crusader Kings 2. Which I would dearly love to understand because it's like set in the entirety of European history and you play a monarch and there's like wars and relationships between royal families and all this kind of stuff. But it's just so complex and dense. Just don't understand it. Also, uh, the Lego games. Like, uh, I, I can never see. figure out what I'm supposed to do next. Yeah, I think that's just because they're somewhat poorly designed sometimes and the objectives aren't clear. I remember. Oh, do we have, we don't have a key. We don't have a key, no. I remember once I was at a, like a preview event for a Lego game. It was Lego Harry Potter, I think. Mm. I was playing it and the developer was there watching me play it and I was, I couldn't figure out what I was supposed (laughs) to do next. He was watching me for ages and then he got out of like a notepad and he started (laughs) like making notes. Fix the game, yeah. Oh no, I'm so bad at this that he's having to make notes. It's extra frustrating because you know their game's designed for children and you're just like, man, if I can't get this, like... And of course, you know, children with their like spongy, malleable brains would probably get it in a second. Yeah, but it's obvious like, to yeah. them. I definitely got like fully stuck on Lego Indiana Jones and just had no idea where to go. Um, oh, man. This house is a maze. Fan of Fanfic says, as long as no PT sick fetuses show up, I think we'll be able to handle oh, this. That's God. fair. PT the PT fetus. Uh, Stormwheel one says Crusader Kings two, aka cousin marrying simulator. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that stuff. It's like like the old royal families. Crusader Kings 2 is basically an XL version of The Sims, says Unknown Human. That's Good. Probably Sounds true fine. as well. Francis oh, LeBlanc I'm... says Crusader Kings 2 is plain amazing. Uh, Fan of Fanfic says I absolutely despise the LEGO games except for LEGO Dimensions. LEGO Dimensions had some fun crossover stuff in it. Yeah. Um, the Doctor Who stuff was brilliant. Mm. Anyone got any ideas what we should be doing now? Do uh, let us know. Frankie A says, if you could recreate an existing game in a different genre, like Assassin's Creed as an RTS game, what would it be and why? Oh. I think, I was saying this, I think, in the Assassin's Creed Odyssey show of the week. If you'd asked me this a few years ago, I would have said, I'd remake Assassin's Creed, but as an RPG. But they've done that now, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, rather than a, a sort of action stealth game. So that's kind of cool. Um, uh, I don't know. I thought... Um there was a... Oh, I can't remember what game it was. There was a... Um... Oh, Nissan to Silver says there was a number in that room. Which oh, was room? There? Which room? Which room? It wasn't the one with the six, was it? That we've already seen. Maybe. I'll go back to the room I was just in. Did he just say that? Uh, yes. Okay. Fairly, like, fairly recently. It just popped up in the... Um, in the... Um... <laughs> Video game expert says, Guys, get a like spike. I'd be interested to see if you guys can do a like spike. I don't. We've what, never really done them before. What's a like spike? It's just where everyone presses like at the same time, right? Oh, so, okay. Well, the like button on the video. Yeah. So if we were like to go uh, on three. Okay. <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Everybody press like. Let's see if that worked. I don't we'll know. Let's see if it worked. Um, uh, I don't see a number. This answer, why? <laughs> Robin Falk says no, it was after that six. So there's definitely been another number that we've missed. Okay. All right, where do we come from? Here? Where do we go? Where do we come from? God, no, God, Joe. No, Joe. This is my fear singing. It's yeah. the rednecks with an X. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Okay. Sam Sam says use the flashlight in dark rooms. Right. Oh, uh, and um, I can't remember who it was, but someone said that... Um, uh, someone said that you can only carry five torch batteries at a time so don't pick up any more if you've got that oh, okay. many so that's cool I Will think we're we? good for the moment aren't we oh my god number hunt at least we're not being menaced by a spook eh Andy yep that's true I was hoping I'd jinxed it oh well you didn't so bad luck uh, apparently the light spike went from like 314 to 604 so thank oh, you wow. so much for that that's pretty cool oh that's no we got that one we got that one 
We have it. We have this one. We've got the six. No, 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 creepy doll. Yeah. I'm used to it now. Uh, Shambles1980 T Real One says, I refuse to kick like, click like if told. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Don't, you don't have to. <laughs> don't press the like button. <laughs> oh, I see. Reverse yeah, psychology. Try reverse like psychology. It. See if it works. <laughs> Come on. Uh, hey, if Johnny Chiodini needs... This is from Colin Green. If Johnny Chiodini needs inspiration for characters in your next Ox Venture, a giant humanoid snail man. It killed my party, and they're always asking about him. They're <laughs> always asking. How's he doing? How's he doing? How's the giant humanoid snail man? Does he mention man? me? Is he keeping well at all? Did he say anything about me? <laughs> Uh, I guess I guess we just have to do the number hunt. Velcro uh, Yuppie says snakes on the toilet reminds me of growing up. Our hunting cabin had an outhouse, and there were always dozens of poisonous copperhead snakes under oh, the wow. outhouse. It made for exciting bathroom time. That sounds terrifying. That and bad. sounds horrible. Just, I mean, would would you take your whole family to a place full of poison snakes? Seems seems like a bad idea. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Megan Oppie says I turn 20 next week what should I do to celebrate wow um, depends if you're in somewhere where the legal drinking age yeah, is 21 or not uh, oh we can shine a light into that cell now and see if there's and yeah. in this corner in this corner any in numbers secrets. is there a number in the cell I'll put any battery in oh, oh there's just a, rat a rat doing a moonwalk there's a rat in my basement what am I going to do are you going to fix that rat uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> There's nothing. What would you... 20 years old, would you just celebrate? Go and play crazy golf. Go to a theme park. Go to a theme park, yeah. That's what I'd do. Go to your local theme park. Yeah. A Disney one, if if possible. And, yes, cool. I think that's good suggestions. Yeah. Uh, Drunt58, cutting into my engine rebuild, lol, but thanks for the great shows. I'm putting up an answer in my random tweets. <laughs> Uh, Mike would love to talk history with Andy know any historical ghost monster stories hmm. historical ghost monsters um, a save room yeah I've been in that one there's uh, Spring Hill Jack the London oh, that's uh, cool one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ghost monster guy who could um, jump over fences yeah and had eyes like burning pitch or something yeah. like that and uh, yeah look up Spring Hill Jack he was cool what else any more from um, up north, the beast of Bodmin. Bodmin's not north, I don't think. All right, wherever Bodmin is. <laughs> it's from further north than I am. Yeah, that's true. Um, oh, boy. What? Are you being chased? Better not be. Can you not? Oh, oh no, she oh, she's here. She said, what's she doing? Run no, away. No, no, no. No. Do we have a key Maybe for a room? room? Andy, that's a dead end. Oh, my God, you're right. Uh, this is fine. I'll just run. A little ed urgency, please. Well, this is a dead end, isn't it? What about that door to the right? I think it's locked. Oh, well. Yeah, well, okay, look. Let's well, just talk about to... this. No! Oh, jeez. Oh, well, she's got one weird eye. I actually did jump there. It actually made me jump. She's got a weird eye. Uh, Travis Wolfenberger is a new member. Thank you so much for joining us. And Patrick Long said, Crusader Kings is such a weird game. I have a friend who plays it and you get the weirdest political maps. The Aztec Empire of Alaska and Canada, Egyptian Empire of France and Spain. It's a bit like civilization in that regard then. I like that. Like, you can be, you can take over the world as like the, you know, uh, Aztec King, whatever his name was. I can't believe we missed a number. I think she was just getting sick of you not seeing a numbers, like a number around. It got tired. All right, we should do this methodically. Okay. Move metho methodically through the house. Mm-hmm. Is this the front door? Yeah. I'm going to check all rooms in a methodical manner. Mm. But yeah, let's do some comments while I look for the Okay. Hmm. A. Archer says Bodmin is in the West Country. Yep. Um, further north than I am currently. Catherine no. Alfonso says, Hi Mike, notice me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, notice. Noticed. Um... And uh, she's still waiting for Andy to make a song about his spooks. <laughs> well, well. Maybe you should, instead of going for a Christmas number one, we should go for a Halloween number one. It's pretty easier, isn't it? Yeah. And it would be better as well because it would have a harpsichord in it. Mm. Okay. We were sending spooky songs back and forth to each other on our chat thing this morning. So this is just a corridor, but I'm checking all rooms okay. for numbers. So you keep your eyes peeled. 
Look out for numbers. Otherwise, we'll get our eyes peeled by that lady. <laughs> Dennis Hayden says that he thinks the dog looks like a... Uh, sorry, the ghost looks like a dog excited for a treat. Yeah, it's the tongue hanging out, I think. Okay, numbers, numbers. Wombat of Doom 53 says, When playing Andy's, at least you don't have to worry about any Spookington sneaking up behind you. Whereas at Mike's... Oh my god. Keep an eye on the frame. There could be something... We've got those high ceilings as well. There could be something hovering up in the corner. Oh god. What would be good to be hovering in the corner of a room? Oh, Jacob Neeson's number. building a Lego Bugatti. That's awesome. That set looks amazing. Yeah. And needed something to watch meanwhile. And there you guys were. Well, enjoy building your Lego Bugatti. That thing looks massive as well. Not the one... I know it's not the one that's actually, like, full-sized and they were driving around made of Lego. Um, but even the, the set itself looks looks huge. I got out my uh, Lego haunted house last mm. night. Um, it's a couple of pics on my Instagram story. But, nice. uh, yeah, that's another massive... Lego kit. set. There's some really cool ones. Did you see they announced that Hogwarts, like full sized Hogwarts? What? Basically, no, that's amazing. It looks amazing. Like they've, they've got the big Disney castle, mm. which is cool. I'd love to get that one. We're all big fans of Lego, apart from the video games. So we were in this room. This is where you were haunted by kids. Yeah, I was haunted by kids in here. But hang on. But no numbers. I'd like to be haunted by numbers, please. <laughs> haunted by a lock combination in order if possible yeah, please that'd bad. be great uh, Keith Brady says is there no in game map no there is not if you can believe it can you believe try above the sofa that's in the corridor someone's saying sofa in the corridor okay that was evil queen of cakes which is an excellent name that is an excellent name sofa in the corridor Kira Gaming says full size Hogwarts take my money yes yeah it looks amazing no. Uh, okay. Jet Reyes says, is the game breaking bug a lack of flashlights? It's something to do with not being able to pick up the flashlight. Is it? Um, I think so, yeah. Oh, that uh, would be really annoying. Meth Borton says, there's a Thornton's chocolate shop near me that is haunted by a pol poltergeist named Sarah. She was jilted at the altar and hanged herself there. Oh, now she ruins Valentine's Day chocolate displays. Oh, wow. Man, I would ruin a Valentine's Day chocolate display as That's well, but in a, a different way. <laughs> like, <laughs> you coming back to, not back to life, but you're sort of living beyond the grave as a ghost. And you're like, I'm going to mess up everyone's chocolate. Yeah. That'll teach them. Well... Uh, it's interesting though. Have you ever seen a ghost, Mike? Uh, have I ever seen a ghost? Yeah. No. No, but I've had that weird sleep paralysis thing where it feels like there's a ghostly presence oh, in the room. Oh, weird. Pretty creepy. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Um, uh, Drifty says this isn't Dark Souls. <laughs> it isn't Dark Souls. It certainly isn't. You're correct. Um, it's, it's the Dark Souls of finding numbers written mm. on things. Uh, and Amazification says, love you guys, it's dark in your real world room. It is quite dark. Yeah. I'm just going to check the... Uh, see if I can make the lights oh, yeah, any lighter. Oh yeah, that's true. People we do have a light on, but it's very, very gloomy. Uh, we uh, can turn another light on, maybe. Yeah, maybe I'll do that, actually. Is that any better, though? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the rest of the stream, is me not finding any numbers. We can barely see your face, actually. I'm going to put some real lights on. Okay. We've been spooked enough, so give me a second. Oh, there's a number. Ah, one. I found a one. Your battery's about to run out as well. Okay, unspecified okay. position one. There we go. Is that a bit easier to see us? Sorry, it's getting very dark here. We've got the blinds closed and everything. I've got um, I got three numbers. Save room. Go to a save room now because if you get haunted, the numbers will change, right? Oh, that's true. If you get killed, so I would hightail it to a save room. I can't remember where quick. it is. Okay, we need one more. Or. What was that noise? It was the door closing behind me. Is that okay? It's Get fine. in that save room and I'm save. I'm in it. I'm doing it. And also, if you're near it, if there's a spook when you come out, it'll be fine. There we go. All right. Safe forever. Safe forever in the save room. I could just try and do it now with the numbers I've got. It would take a while. Oh, someone says six in that room. There was a six? Yeah. No, we already got a six. We already have a six. Do we think there's two sixes, though? Maybe. Can we even remember where the six was? Yeah, it was in this room. That was the six we had. That was the six we had, and that's yeah. the one we've just passed as well, isn't it? Yeah, so, so it's probably... So we've got that six. Yeah. We've got a six, a one, and an eight. No, it was a... A one, a six, and a one. 
Uh, James Tanner wants to know if I'm going to film Show of the Week by myself tomorrow while Andy is locked in his apartment with Red Dead Redemption 2. Ha. There will be a Show of the Week tomorrow, uh, and it will be about Red Dead 2. Yep. Uh, so look forward to that. But we will also be live streaming from High Noon. Yeah, High Noon UK, UK time. time. Um, uh, Red Dead, because that's all I think anyone will want to watch or talk about yeah. tomorrow. So, so if you are interested in our yeah. reactions to Red Dead, our early game reactions, you or can if come you're... and watch us actually playing it live. Yeah, or if you're just waiting for it to install and you'd like to watch a bit. Um, we'll be trying to avoid story spoilers as much as possible but it's quite because it's quite a seamless experience from what we've heard that might not be entirely possible but we'll do our very best not to yeah. sort of we'll ruin things or we'll anything. get past the sort of early game story yes. bits and then see see where we are okay I might just go to the padlock and start putting numbers in because I've got most of them I've got almost all of them uh uh, Angel Beat says I'll have to get an early night then for the stream tomorrow uh, it'd be great if you could join us um yeah that should be fun. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Are you going to wear your cowboy hat, Andy? Yes, I'll wear a cowboy hat, if people think that's a good idea. This is where the lock is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to start putting numbers in. So it's one, six, one, and something in some sort of order. It was an eight. It's no, it's not an eight. It was, that, that was the first time before it... Um, oh, okay. Before we changed it. Do you remember? Do you have it in your notes? You know he was noting them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got oh. it in my notes. And then in my notes it says that one is the first number. Okay. No. Oh my god, this is so awkward. <laughs> yeah. Right, one is the first number. Yep. And we've also got a one and a six and one other number. Music's. Music's freaking out. They definitely shouldn't be allowed to haunt you while you're no. doing a combination. I'm just going to ignore it. Pretend it's not happening, yeah. Yeah. Dawn Seabrook reckons there was a seven in another room. Really? Okay. So... Well, that's good. So one, one, six, seven, one. No, this is really fiddly. Sorry, yeah, inaccurate. It keeps. Did you, Did you get? <laughs> you got haunted, and the lock was hovering in front of your face. <laughs> and in fact, the interface is still on it. That's amazing. Brilliant. So that's really. I'm like just there fiddling yeah, with the camera. She's like, Ugh, no. Uh, Danny Seppi also thinks there was a seven. Okay, so we got one, one, six, and seven. So let's go and. Figure it out. Just look at my notes. It says one, six, and one. I tried one, one, six, seven. So let's try some other numbers. Okay, if we hear that music, it means she's trying Bad to speak. Bad things us. are happening. Yeah. It's annoying. I wish she'd just leave us alone. Yeah. I wish she'd just get off her We've got stuff case. to do. Try and do stuff here, you know. Oh, wait. Was it this way? And then it was there. I honestly can't remember. Couldn't no, tell you. Couldn't tell you, Andy. It wasn't this way. It was the other way. Uh, John Nigma's like, what just happened? We got spooked Zetical in the back. Zetical says that freaked me out. Joseph Cecil, can you not? I'm busy. Yeah, exactly. Martin Lingren agrees and says, not really fair. I'm lost now. Murdered by a lock. Insir says, don't put that on the tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> it was this way. Wouldn't this, uh, Jimmy says, wouldn't the seven change after we die? Yes, if we haven't inspected it and written oh, it down, it might have changed. Damn, yeah, you're right. Uh... Uh, 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 Good point. I, I can't believe Good we're point. allowed. I can't believe we're allowed to be spooked while we're fiddling with the lock, particularly given that the controls are a bit wobbly. As yeah. Well. Seems uncool. So we got that one. <laughs> Fan of fanfix. Andy, I'm going to ignore it. Ghost, ignore this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was hard to ignore. Serenity Forever Twenty Five says that was hilarious. It was <laughs> quite funny. Yes. Got spooked in the back. Um, get some more comments on the go. Have a cup of tea. Come on. We've only, believe it or not, got another five minutes or so. This is where we are. Time's been flying with all this spookening. It has. All right. So one one six something. Uh, fan fanfic says maybe there is three sixes. Six six six. Uh, it's definitely two ones. Okay. So one. But the the other ones could be in any order. Is she coming for you again? I think so. I think you have You've to... got to validate it as well, haven't you? Ah! So you've got a time limit for entering it and fiddly controls. Oh, you have to validate yeah. it. I can't just... Wrong code! She's right behind you, isn't she? Yeah, there she is. She's got a bit Run. of a saunter on. It 
gets less scary every time. So, oh man, so I do need to have the numbers. And yeah. I don't even know what order they're supposed to go in. Oh my god. But at least once we've identified the final number, we know when we know the one starts it. So then it's just a con it's just trying combinations of three things. It's just a shame you have to keep walking back to the lock and mm. Well, I need to find the last number as well. I don't have it. Yeah, I think maybe that's the that's the thing to do is find the last number and then save and then work from there. Sorry. It's a bit less exciting, isn't it? Mm. But then getting murdered constantly by the same ghost while we're trying to do a lock isn't that exciting either. So we'll do our best, people. Wish I knew where that last number was. Uh, Atomic SHN says, Good morning from the Bay Area. After months of watching you guys, I finally caught a live stream. Remember, Andy, fear no spooky man. I will try. <laughs> Shout out to the yay area. The yay area. Yay area. Nice. Um, I'm glad you managed to finally catch a live stream. Uh, Cody Brack, other code pieces should be straight down the hall from the number one in the hall, in the hall according to a map I found. Cheers. Hmm. Good tip, Cody. Straight down the hall from the number one. Where right. is the number one? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll get it. Don't worry. I don't remember vaguely. Worry. Oh my god. It's so densely like detailed. Yeah. That it's really difficult to identify these things. But I know people are watching on the stream and, on a tiny window and going, Oh, it's there. You missed it. Yeah. Looking for numbers, scanning for numbers. Well, that's what Any that's where the lock is. I'm not going to try and put it in no, yet because the ghost will come and speak me. That was it. Was a corridor like that, but not okay. Like uh, stop rattling <laughs> door handles, you ghost. <laughs> you ghost. Over here, maybe? quite the insult there, Andy. Yeah, they'll be gutted with that sick burn. Blummin' ghost. What the absolute ghost. What an absolute ghost. No, straight down the hall from the number one. I've just got to find the number one. I'm going in circles, I think. That's the... Right. Ninja Nub 331 says, throw tea at the ghost. Good I mean, strategy. yeah, hot tea in the face <laughs> and then run away. No one's walking away from that. Yeah, especially if your eye's out. Oh! oh that's the ghost. No, come on! Be, be reasonable. <laughs> Please. Get in the save room. I'm run, getting, run, run, run. I'm, I'm running. That's not the save room. I'm just getting out of here. Okay. She, can't, she can't kill what she can't catch. But she can catch you. I'd like to see her try. She probably will try. Oh, no. You probably will see her try. Oh no. Stop breathing. Oh! Whoa! No! How was <laughs> she can did you know she can teleport? Yes, she teleported the first time we were chased by her. Oh yeah. Good point. <laughs> Good point, well made. All right, I'm escaping and running just and escaping. Find a save room, man. There's one. There's one. Just run and just hope she doesn't teleport directly in front of you right at the last minute. That would be exactly the sort of thing she would do. Yeah, get in there. Shut that door. Shut. Nice that try, door. idiot. <laughs> now a simple case of waiting. A mesification thinks she heard us talking smack. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I'm gonna talk smack all I like in the save room. You big dumb octopus ghost. Sarah Shoot says, apparently there are six possible spawn points for Ghosty Lady. Uh, which is good. Thanks for being on the, on horror support, Sarah Shoot, for both these live streams. Okay. Yay, Andy yelps. Raya Kelly says. Zeta Cole says, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad my suffering is so amusing to everyone. Genghis John says, the flashlight appears to have a grape for a battery. You can actually generate electricity from... Some things, right? Like potatoes <laughs> yeah. and stuff. So it's actually better than a grape. Which is that thing, isn't it, where you um, you cut a grape, a grape in better. half, but leave like the skin at the bottom, so you fold it out into two halves. And you can put it in the microwave, and it like glows. Really? Have you seen that? No. And then it makes that. your microwave smell horrible. But yeah, uh, so yeah, if you take a grape, slice it in half, and kind of fold it out, so it's just got a little bit of skin holding the two halves together, and then put it in the microwave, it glows. I did not know that. I think I heard somewhere you can put a light bulb in a glass of milk in the microwave and it'll light up. I don't think it's a good idea to put a I light mean, bulb yeah, in the microwave. I mean, yeah, don't do that. Microwave. Don't anyone do that. <laughs> but I've heard that. Um, Jet Reyes says there should be an option at the beginning of every horror game to note the hell back to the car. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Particularly those Outlast games where they go out looking for baddies. There was in that... Um, Is that Emily? There's the one. In right, Emily straight down the corridor from the one. Right, down here. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Emily wants to play too. There is the option to just nope out to your car, leave, which yeah. is great, and that's a canonical ending to the game. Okay, I'm going down this corridor, proceeding. Lots of screaming going on. Proceeding on foot. She's going to appear right in front of us, isn't she? 
Don't like it. Is it down here? In this corridor or somewhere? Maybe. See a number anywhere? Maybe. I see no numbers. I see no numbers as well. This is a safe cor corridor. It is. It? Uh, huh. No. What about this room? That's so fine. much screaming. That's fine. Oh, that's the, that's the, the basement. jail. The basement jail. Maybe on the walls of this corridor? Yeah, perhaps. Uh, keep an eye out. Wait, to the right? Or here? Oh, no. Is that... That's, not, that's just a stain on the wall, isn't it? Over there, by the light. Over there? Oh, yeah. That's not a number, is it? No. I'm pretty sure I know all the numbers, and I don't think that's one of them. You think you know all, but they change the numbers. Obviously. No, I mean I know all the numbers that are that exist. Like oh, I one, see. One, two, three. I know them all, and that doesn't look like any of the ones mm. I know. Seven, you know, all of them. I can name them all. That's pretty pretty good. You should be like a mathematician. Yeah. Nine, that's one. So uh, there's the one. Yeah. Well, I don't know where you're getting your facts from. Uh, Haley Weaver says hello from California. Love you guys' videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you for joining us in this. Kind of dull number hunt it's, yeah. it, this has become. Uh, yeah, sorry that there's not more spooking happening. What about to the left here? What about this room? To the left, to this oh, gap. the room. Anything in this room? It feels like a room where things might happen. Go on, game facts, Mike. All right, let Go me find the door. conjuring numbers map. Okay. Do you want me to get killed by that ghost here? Yes. No, not in this room. Did I? Yeah, you went to the gramophone and oh, got yeah. stuck. A couple of batteries in here though. It's pretty That's good. Cool. Give me the give me the battery. Conjuring house. I'm no full on batteries, one. so that's good. Come on. Oh man. Again, that sound is fine. So why are you even worried? Okay. This doesn't have numbers on it. This is not apparently not a part of the game, so that's good. That's cool. <clears throat> There's so much stuff here, but... Got the six. Cool. All the screaming is not helping. No, it's not, is it? Maybe upstairs? Yeah, There's a number upstairs. Really well. Plus, we haven't been spooked upstairs for a while, so that's, that's true. good. I mean, if I were a ghost, I'd put one of the numbers upstairs. Yeah, just for even distribution. Yeah. None of these maps have the numbers on it. So what, are you looking at a walkthrough and it's like, next, get the numbers, next, do this? Uh, I'm not looking at like a, a direct... I was looking for a map like the one... Uh, oh no, look for a walkthrough. Okay. There's no numbers upstairs, can confirm. Alright, let me give this another ten minutes probably and then... Uh... Yeah. We might have to sign off. Yeah, I've got to get myself to a midnight launch. Someone's finished this uh, game in just five minutes. Well, tell me where the so, numbers are then. Uh, yeah, game pass for uh, game breaking bugs. The numbers, Mason. Let me get another battery. Do it. Pick it up. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, that's not good. What's not good? I just can't find an actual like walkthrough guide to this game. God. Maybe down this corridor. I feel like we've it's been really out. Yeah, but it's really out of the way. Maybe someone put a number here. No, but I just mean I feel like we've been everywhere. You know. Yeah, yeah. Surviving the troublesome padlock. Quest. Probably randomizes the numbers as well. It's such a jerk move. Like if I'm stuck on your game, I should be able to look it up. All right. Locations of the numbers change as well. What? I can't believe. Aside from the number first number's location, the spawn points don't follow any real order. First number's already in the same place. The room with a lit fireplace, there's one in there. Is that where we've That's got where the we six? That's where we found the six, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, door to the right, past the couch, turn to the right, go through the door on the left, through the room with the unlit fireplace. Room with the unlit fireplace? Yeah. Okay, uh, I I'm in the room with the lit fireplace. Down the long hallway, continue going, moving through the adjacent halls until you come to another couch. It'll be on the right with a... Oh, so there's like a, a hallway with a couch in like a recess and a table next to it or something. Okay. Yeah, I think... Oh, I no, it's it. above the couch. Didn't we try and look there before? I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'll keep looking. Let's see some uh, comments. There's a, yeah, okay. Um... Uh, Cody Brack, another map says first door on the right from the code door. Okay, uh, it's near the padlock, they reckon. Uh, George Bynum, stop breathing, a strange thing to request from your character in a horror game. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah the, the ghost takes care of that quite often. Well, so, there's the couch in yeah, the Yeah, so this is one of the spawn points. It should be, but there's no number there. Okay, so we can rule that one out. Um, Sophie Kanishi says, have you all heard of Town of Lights based on real psychiatric hospital? Yeah, we played it. Dandy, when we'll see Mike at the controls. We did play it, actually, yeah, and we did a Let's Play. It gets real dark, like that thing, and it's it's a difficult one to play because it you kind of know it is based on real stuff. Yeah. So it makes it a bit it's more pretty harrowing. Heavy. Yeah, it's like some real, there's some real serious stuff um, in that game. Uh, but yeah, have heard of it, have played it. Um, uh... uh Looking for another spawn point. Oh, um, the, the bathroom is apparently one of them. Yeah, nothing in the bathroom. Here's Seven another bathroom. Is there a number in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, it would be above the radiator. It'd be right there. Um, head back by the couch. Second spawn point. Take the door to the right. I try this door. There was nothing in here, right? I don't think so. And this is, this room's a dead end as well, isn't it? Yeah. So, dead end. Poor choice of words. Um. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. Uh, at the end of the hallway is the second safe room. Before you get to that, though, there's a table on the right. The spawn point is right above the table. You'll need your flashlight to see it. So second save room. Oh might, yeah, might be good to leg it towards the save room anyway, just in case ghosty lady comes. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, All right, I'm heading over there now. Cool. I think. Kind of hard to remember. Yeah, it's really, the layout's really confusing. Is there a save room down here? What's it down here? I don't know. It's not a save Let's room, is it? Get through some comments while I make my way back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Craig B says can't wait for the Call of Cthulhu stream yeah we're looking forward to that as well yeah uh, and Velcro Yuppie says is it safe to play Call of Cthulhu without Jane probably not um, <laughs> but we're going to have a crack at it anyway yeah and if Cthulhu is displeased well that's his own business yeah his or her or its own business is it this yeah yeah, yeah, yeah this would be the one it'd be up to the right maybe no wait no, it's at it. the end of a it's a safe room at the end of the I thought that was it it's not it's Oh my god. This house is so confusing. Oh my god. I'm just going around the circles. Yeah. Like every good horror film. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's have a few more comments and then maybe wrap this up because yep. I don't think I'm ever going to find this other number and I don't have time to get all the numbers in before I get ghost murdered. <laughs> Lord Voldemort says, I think I saw a three next to the entrance hall. Next Perhaps. to the entrance hall? Hmm. Well, yeah. you open the door into your face. I mean, this is the entrance hall. Next to it? One of the rooms off it, maybe? We can't go through there. It might be that M. That's the one we've got the key. Yeah. For. All right. Hmm. Solus forty seven says this is worse than the fish headed man. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It was spooky at the at first, but then it got it got real dull. Yeah. Unfortunately. Uh. All right. Okay. Sorry about this, guys. I wish uh, there could have been more spooks. 
Well, we got some good jumps out of you, definitely. Yeah. Oh, so, there's a one. Yeah, no, we have, that we've one? had that one forever. Oh, yeah, we have, haven't we? Yeah. Unfortunately, this game thought it would be a good gameplay mechanic to have us look on every wall for numbers. <laughs> Which, while being menaced. Spoiler alert, it's not, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, do come back tomorrow... For Red Dead Dead Redemption 2 live stream, which won't involve us looking for any numbers. Promise. Yeah, unless <laughs> we're going to look at that's what the game is now. That's like the first quest. Uh, now, Arthur, I want you to go and find me. A load of numbers. A whole load of numbers. Um, hey, I'm, this is the other save room. Right. Guess what? No numbers. Is it? But is it down to the on the table or something? I don't know. I don't know. We wouldn't be able to put it in the thing anyway, would we? No. There's nothing up to the left there. No. Just peeling wallpaper. No, nope, nothing. All right. Well, I guess we live in the country yeah, house now. That's it. Uh, Abhishek Sanaji says, speaking of numbers, if you watch Jim Carrey's thriller movie, The Number 23, if not, you should, and you should check for keys. Um, haven't seen it. Sounds good, though. Thanks for the recommendation. Yeah. Um, and Fan of Fanfix also has a recommendation saying, watch The Voices with Ryan Reynolds. Have okay. You seen, have you seen The Voices? I with haven't. Ryan no, we on a Ryan Reynolds Apparently so. at the moment. Apparently so. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, thank you so much yes. for uh, everything. Um, for sticking around. Yeah, and do join us tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so new probably be a more action-packed uh, stream. Lots more shooting, certainly. Yeah, so, definitely. Uh, um, but yeah, so and also check out um, the PAX Australia Twitch channel if you want to see what the guys are up to in Australia. Yes, I think the first one's like 4am UK time. Yes, right? uh, if you go to PAX Australia schedule, or I think it's on our Twitter as well, the stuff that we'll be up to this cool. week, so you can see what those guys are doing over there. And we will see you tomorrow... For Red Dead Redemption, which yeah. I'm going to go to a midnight launch for in like six four, hours. Six hours. Yeah. yeah. So look forward to that. All and right. see you next time, guys. Thank you very Take much care, for joining thank us. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye bye.